Samuel L. Jackson has played some of the most memorable and distinctive characters with his unique presence in front of the camera, it's no surprise that the Guinness Book of World Records crowned him as the highest grossing actor of all time. He's a cultural icon whose work has resonated worldwide, and even though he has dedicated most of his life to his craft, he still makes time for his wife, Tony Award-winning actress LaTanya Richardson. LaTanya captured his heart several decades ago, and since then, they've been through it all, from substance abuse issues to Samuel being emotionally detached. But at the end of the day, this is one black Hollywood relationship that was built to last. Feeling hungry? Head over to rrgsnacks.com to purchase a bag of our gourmet popcorn. Available in several flavors. Now you can enjoy our super messy videos all while getting your grub on. Use code POPPIN20 to receive 20% off your first order. To get a better understanding of their relationship and to dig a little deeper into why Samuel is the way he is, we have to take you back to December 21st, 1948, the day Samuel Leroy Jackson was born to Elizabeth Montgomery and Roy Jackson. His dad didn't play a role in his life. Samuel told the New York Times before his first birthday, his mom took him to Chattanooga, Tennessee, where his grandparents and aunt lived, dropped him off, and never returned and it was his aunt who worked as a performing arts teacher who introduced him to the world of acting. She also helped cure his debilitating stutter by taking him to see a speech therapist. As the only child in the household, he spent a lot of time alone. He told the Times he would sit for hours doing nothing and learned how to be content with himself. His mother would visit him about two times a year, and when she would leave, he realized there was nothing he could do about it. He said, I learn to accept it. If a person leaves me, I immediately forget them. I don't dwell on people who leave. In the 60s, he attended Morehouse College in Atlanta and described himself as being a straight arrow. He joined the cheer squad and the swim team and aspired to be a marine biologist. He eventually got drawn to the theater and to substances and alcohol. According to The Hollywood Reporter, it was a professor who introduced Samuel to LSD, and from there, he branched out and casually tried heroin and cocaine. While in school, he met LaTanya, who was a student at Spelman College. LaTanya told the New York Times she and Samuel didn't run in the same circle. She was more of a theater snob while he loved movies. But they had enough in common to start dating. LaTanya said they had a long courtship that lasted 10 years. They lived under the same roof as well, but they also dated other people. At some point, LaTanya got fed up and decided she wanted to get married. She had to choose between marrying a rich guy or a smart guy, and she chose the smart guy. The smart guy was Samuel, of course. Neither of them can remember what happened after LaTanya decided she wanted to get married, so we'll just tell you both sides of the story. Samuel told ET Canada he couldn't remember if he actually proposed to her or not. He can only recall LaTanya approaching him with their wedding invitations in her hand. And as for LaTanya, she said she explained to Samuel that her grandfather was sick and she really wanted him to walk her down the aisle before he passed away. She instructed Samuel to ask her grandfather for her hand in marriage and then told him to propose to her after her grandfather gave his blessing. They got married on August 18, 1980, and settled down in New York. They were both struggling stage actors in a small community of other struggling actors like Denzel Washington, Morgan Freeman, Lawrence Fishburne, and Wesley Snipes. Samuel told CBS News they would all go to each other's shows, party together, and see each other in line at the unemployment office. From the jump, married life wasn't easy. LaTanya told the New York Times she's passionate and outspoken, while Samuel is, quote, emotionally disconnected. He also admitted to The Guardian that since he grew up as an only child, he has a tendency to be very selfish. She would call him while he was on set and asked him if he missed her, and his answer was, no. The feeling wasn't mutual. LaTanya told Essence, when he's away and I think about him, my whole body smiles. 
They were both working on their respective acting careers, which meant they spent a lot of time apart. LaTanya admitted that during those times, she felt abandoned by her husband. Their daughter Zoe was born in 1982, and LaTanya stopped working regularly because she and Samuel had vowed to be a, quote, intact, revolutionary black family. Despite landing roles in numerous off-Broadway shows, film, and television gigs, she realized it would be easier and better for their family if she didn't accept roles that would take her away from the home. So she pulled back on her career and devoted the majority of her time to raising their daughter. The Jacksons moved to a brownstone in Harlem, and Samuel's bad habits became more apparent. According to The Hollywood Reporter, he was drinking more and became a functioning crack addict. But his substance issues didn't stop him from becoming an established Broadway actor in the 90s. He told the New York Times he would simply go off stage between acts, have a drink, and go back on stage to perform. Well, that's what he did up until he finally hit rock bottom. One night, his wife and daughter found him passed out on the floor with cocaine still cooking on the stove. The next day, Samuel checked into rehab. He credits LaTanya for saving his life. Looking back on that period of time, he knows his wife could have taken their daughter, walked away, and never looked back. But she didn't. Samuel told Oprah Winfrey, that's a greater love than I will ever know. Because I don't know that I would have done that. While he was detoxing in rehab, he got a call from Spike Lee, offering him the role of the addict Gator Purify in the movie Jungle Fever. All the people in rehab tried talking Samuel out of it because they didn't want him to get triggered by the paraphernalia in the film and relapse. But Samuel had already made up his mind. I do it. Yeah, you know I do it. I like getting high. Mm, mm, uh, uh. He told CBS News it wasn't difficult to play the role because the character wasn't very far from what had been his reality. His work in the film opened up so many doors for him, and he went on to win the Best Supporting Actor Award at the Cannes Film Festival. His first project as a sober actor was a success, and his new outlook on life helped him become a better father and husband. He said, I finally grew into the man that LaTanya always thought I could be. Samuel continued his ascent into superstardom while LaTanya waited until their daughter was well into her 20s before she decided to return to the stage. LaTanya appeared in several projects, including The Fighting Temptations, and in 2009, she made her Broadway debut as Bertha Holly in the critically acclaimed revival of Joe Turner's Come and Gone. In 2021, Samuel and LaTanya will celebrate 41 years of marriage. They've raised a beautiful daughter who now works as an executive producer of Top Chef Amateurs. Being a family of creative people can get a little complicated. LaTanya told The Observer she, Samuel, and their daughter all are type A personalities, and she described their home as schizophrenic and manic at times. As a power couple, Samuel and LaTanya continue to use their celebrity status for the good of others. They created the Samuel and LaTanya Art Foundation to tackle issues pertaining to civil and human rights. They were named founding donors of the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture and are the co-owners of a production company which produced the docuseries entitled Enslaved. LaTanya is still amazed by how hard Samuel works to take care of her and their daughter. She looks back on all the decades they've spent together and the things they've shared, and she's so glad they're still able to laugh and enjoy each other's company after all this time. She also has some tips for those who are struggling in their relationship. LaTanya said, no matter what, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Let us know your thoughts on Samuel and LaTanya's love story. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.